time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Okay, we have a few new subscribers. I hope I say their names right. If I don't, just correct me and I will fix it next week. Alaya Farku. Welcome to the neighborhood. Arena Hausen. Welcome to the neighborhood. And this one is a correction from last week. Narisa Khan. Corrected and welcome to the neighborhood. Trixity09. Welcome to the neighborhood. And go by and check out her channel. She's got an awesome channel, guys. Okay. One, Blazing Eagle One. We want to help him achieve his goals and get to the WWE wrestling. So we're going to blow up hashtag Blazing for Wrestling. That's hashtag B L A Z I N, the number four wrestling. Let's help him reach his goals, guys. Bethany from Sylvia Phillips channel. You guys need to go by and check out her channel. Awesome channel. Hi, Bethany. I hope you're doing well today. Lindsay Wagner. She liked the blindfold makeup challenge so much that she thinks since Kevin had so much practice doing the blind or uh, doing makeup on Daralita that he needs to do the blindfold makeup challenge with me when I get home. What do you all think? We're taking votes on that one. Um, a and J does it all. Shout out to you. And you guys need to go by and check out their channel. Awesome, awesome, awesome channel. Go by and check it out. Okay, thoughts and prayers, guys. Mom's vlog 80. We need thoughts and prayers for Elijah. Um... And if you haven't already, go by and buy a Drax Shadow t-shirt. They go, they're on sale only until the 5th. So hurry up and get your shirt now because you're running out of time. And also, they could really use some financial support. So if you can go by and to their GoFundMe and help Elijah kicking neuroblastoma and donate whatever you can. That would be wonderful. Last week I asked, what would your dream job be? And we got a few good answers here. Angie Lupus Life, of course, she would want to be an artist because she loves art so much and it makes her happy. Lucy Owl, an actress or a horror movie director. I can see that in Lucy for sure. Tanya Longley, anything to do with working with animals, and she'd be happy. Vincent Gutierrez, a cartoonist, or anything he can do that involves drawing, because he loves drawing. Vincent, we need to talk. Uh, the Abyss, 92882, a pro wrestler. I could see you doing that. Susie here, she wants to own her own scrapbooking store and teach scrapbooking classes. Gaga's Little Monster, an actor, because, not for the money, but because she would like to become someone else every day. That would be awesome. And her second choice, which she is fulfilling, an English teacher or a drama teacher, and she is working towards that dream right now. Me, what I would want to be, is a famous YouTuber, and I need your guys' help to do that. So come on guys, help me out. Help me out. And you guys gotta find out what Kevin would wanna be by asking Kevin. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Kevin, take it away. Well, okay everybody, so last week my question for you guys was kind of a tough one and uh, everybody had some issues with it because um, it's a little bit of gray areas around it. The question was, what five horror films were nominated for Academy Award? And uh, a couple of the movies were 
are in different categories as well. So when you see a movie, it could say drama, thriller, um, it could be action, adventure, um, and horror. So movies tend to be in more than one category. So, but the five movies that were that were considered actually horror films that were uh, nominated for Academy Award were The Exorcist, 1973, Jaws, 1975, Silence of the Lambs, 1991, The Sixth Sense, 1999, and Black Swan, 2010. And of those five, uh, only one was actually won the Academy Award, and that was Silence of the Lambs. So there's your answer. Okay, before I go on to this week's question, I want to acknowledge uh, the passing of Wes Craven, probably one of the best directors of the horror genre that came out of the 80s along with many, many other uh, directors coming out of the 80s that made horror films what they are today. Um, he's uh, best known, of course, for Nightmare on Elm Street, but um, he's done some other stuff. One of his um, non-horror films that he did was Red Eye which I really liked, and if you watch Red Eye, you'll notice that he, he uses a lot of horror, horror techniques in that, like uh, uh, filming from the perspective of the killer, and um, false jumps, and things like that. It's really, it was really a good movie. Uh, my favorite Wes Craven movie was Wes Craven's New Nightmare, 1994. Uh, parts of it was actually filmed a, a block away from where I lived in Laverne at the time. Uh, there was a whole freeway scene that was shot on the 210 freeway when it was not finished yet. So we're going to miss you, Wes Craven. You are an awesome, awesome director, writer, producer. Let me tell you about tonight's question. Very simple one. What's Hypnosil? What's Hypnosil and what does that have to do with Wes Craven? And there you go. My question for this week, because I did this out of order, is do you like reality TV programs? If so, which ones and why? You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very much. Go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you next week. Bye.